Here are three workouts to get yourself primed and ready to run your fastest half marathon. I got this great question in the comments. Great video. How do you know what pace you can possibly hold at half marathon? Is there a specific workout that you do to give yourself a rough idea, like four times two kilometers or four times three kilometers? Or do you just plug in your most recent race times on pace calculators? It's interesting because you can quite easily go to a website, put in your 5K time or your 10K time, and it will tell you what you're capable of. You can go and take a lactate threshold test. That will be a bit more act accurate. Your Garmin or your, your whatever watch you're using is probably giving you another race prediction. It's not taking into consideration the full picture, and it's often slightly out. Although they're getting better, it's slightly out. So I like to look at the following workouts to get in, in shape and make sure I'm prepared and confident on the start of a half marathon. This is what they look like. The first one is a progressive long run. And this will put yourself in a place where you're finishing at the pace that you want to run the half marathon. And it does two things for you. It gives you more volume, although you're only doing eight kilometers at the race pace, at the half marathon pace, but it also helps you to run a negative split and finish fast, which will help you finish the race in an optimal time, but also be passing people in the final stages, when especially those people who have gone out too fast. And that's just the typical, and this works for the marathon as well. It'll be a warm up and cool down, but the, the key session is eight kilometers, eight kilometers, eight kilometers. So 24 kilometers progressive run, and that first eight kilometers, will be relatively easy, about 20% slower than your half marathon pace. Then that middle eight kilometers will be 10% slower than your half marathon pace. And then that final eight kilometers, and you'll need to dig in for this because it will feel like you know, you're already 16K in, and then you're starting to, to build time at half marathon pace. That final eight kilometers is at half marathon pace. What it does for you, it's psychologically, it's brilliant because at 16K, it starts to get hard in a half marathon. And you think, 5K to go. And it seems such a long, you've done plenty of park runs or 5K before, but all of a sudden, 5K feels like planet to planet. And this puts you in a position where you've already done 16K at a relative pace to your half marathon pace, and now you've got to dig in and really drop the hammer and go. Got to be in control of that. So you might need to work up to it easy way to work up to it is doing something like 15k with exactly the same workout. So 5k, 5k, 5k with the final 5k being at your half marathon pace. It's a great workout. The next session that I do is 10 times 5 minutes. I used to love to do these 10% faster. So they would come out at something like 10 times a mile at half marathon pace plus 10%. And I knew that if I could hit that, I was super confident to hit the race, but if I could hit faster than that, and gradually it was, it was feeling control, my heart rate wasn't going crazy, but I was able to go quicker than expected, I would, I would know that I'm in better than the shape that I was training for for the half marathon. So 10 times five minutes with 60 seconds rest in between, that would be a great workout to put myself in a wonderful place to be confident with a taper on the start line of a half marathon. Another workout I loved to do for half marathon was four times five kilometers. So you're almost working with the distance that you're gonna be running in a half marathon. So you're building volume at that, but you're doing it at marathon pace, which is usually 10 to 20% slower than your half marathon pace. So four times five kilometers with 60 seconds only in between. And what that short rest does, I always keep it at 60 seconds, so it enables you to get better at recovering faster in that 60 seconds, bringing the heart rate down from high to low and getting the breathing under control. But then what it does also is it enables you to clear lactic acid quicker so you become better at that, which is super useful for half marathon. 10K, 5K, but also marathon as well. And what it also does is it paces your reps for you. So if you know, okay, I've got to run 5K and that might be 15 minutes for you, it might be 20 minutes, it might be 25 minutes. But after that, I've only got one minute, I've only got 60 seconds and I've got to do another 5K rep. That 
enables you to pace it properly. So you're coming out at marathon pace. And if you've trained the endurance and your stamina is there, this should be quite a comfortable session for you, but at the same point, still building volume at a relative pace, at 10 to 20% slower than your half marathon pace, and it's building a lot of volume. So it's a 20K session, you've got to build up to this, but it should inject a lot of confidence where you feel like you can get to race day, get on the start line with a good taper, and you're good to go. Final thing I would say is, depending on whether you're aiming for 60 minutes, 65 minutes, 70 minutes, 80 minutes, 90 minutes, two hours, is how well you need to execute your race day nutrition. And although we think, oh, okay, usually I can kind of get by an hour and 20, two hours without anything to eat, or just with my breakfast, if you've got yourself in the habit for your interval, the faster running and the longer running of taking the right number of carbohydrates per hour, I take 80 grams of carbohydrate per hour and the breakfast is dialed in. So you've got that simple breakfast. I have a fruit smoothie literally an hour before start and that's metabolized, it's in there, it's settled in the stomach and then I'm taking 80 grams of carbohydrate per hour. What you're doing is two things. You're energized throughout, so there's no wall that you're gonna hit in the half marathon, especially if you've hit your nutrition. The longer it's taking you, the more chance you've got of hitting that wall if, you've not, if you're not well trained and if you've not got your nutrition and your breakfast in, in check. But what it's also doing for you is preventative maintenance. So before that muscle breakdown is happening to the level it will, you're already taking care of your nutrition, so you're getting and restocking your glycogen, fuel stocks in your muscles and your liver before that's getting used up. So even for a half marathon, still just as important, and especially if you're gonna be running an hour and 15 to two hours to two and a half hours for the half marathon. So I hope that helps, and I hope it answers the question. And if you have any other questions on marathon running, half marathon running, or shorter distances, let me know in the comments below.